So, because the last one did so well, and since it's been over a year since I did the last one, I think it's due time that I make one tip for every Smash Hero Part 2. This time, it's a bit more serious than the first. Everybody knows that you can double jump in the middle of your smash to position yourself better for a hit, but you might not know that you can hold space while you're on the ground to delay your next smash, which can be quite useful if you're, say, waiting for someone to respawn. And also equally important, you should make sure to spread out the use of your abilities so that you're not caught with all of your abilities on cooldown and no way to defend yourself. General Cluck has stupid AoE. And I mean really stupid. It's so stupid that if you angle it properly, you can hit someone through two or three solid blocks. And that can be incredibly useful if you're in a close fight. Like seriously, look at this. As Cake Monster, it's important to remember that your Def Cake double jumps are important parts of your devastating cake combo. So make sure you use your dash as a substitute for your double jumps as often as you can. This actually applies to most melee heroes, but it's especially important on Cake. Some tips are just too good to replace. You still want to play literally any other hero. Unlike most heroes, activating your ult while falling into the void as Tin Man is a good idea because it means that your missiles will start homing in on your enemies at a horizontal angle which is much harder to avoid than a normal Tin Man ult. There are three problems with me giving you Marauder tips. Number one, I don't play Marauder at all. Number two, you should never play Marauder against ranged heroes. And number three, Marauder is way too easy to play against any melee hero. So basically, press all the buttons and hope for the best is what I'm saying. This is how fast my energy gets drained when I'm holding down shift. This is how fast my energy gets drained when I spam tap shift. Similarly to Void Caller, Cryomancer's ultimate resets the cooldown of his Frostbolt, meaning you can hit a double Frostbolt like shown here. Just like Marauder, I do not play Spooter at all. But unlike Marauder, you should always be playing Spooter against ranged heroes and never against melee heroes, because Spooter just absolutely bullies ranged heroes. Pug is, as my friend Gray describes it, a freestyle character, which means you can really do whatever you want with the character as long as you remember to do two things. You keep your movement wacky and unpredictable, and you're patient with your borks so that you don't throw them away as soon as you're somewhat close to your opponent. Because Teleport is so vital to Karakot's class, you should always wait a few seconds for your energy to recharge before getting back into the fight after respawning. This way you don't do something stupid and get immediately edge guarded. Some Skullfire players outright forget that single shot exists. And while Triple Shot may have more raw DPS, the individual shots do less damage than Single Shot. So you should really only be using Triple Shot if you're confident that you can hit all three of the shots. Otherwise, Single Shot is better in almost every regard. Nina, you owe me 64 onion rings. I'm not doing another Sanic tip because Nina never gave me the 64 onion rings he owes me from the last time I did a Sanic tip. My Void Crawler tip is about the same as my Cryo tip, except with one extra step. Make sure you get a bunch of Void energy before you do a double Teleboon. Here's a step-by-step -step guide on how to play Shoop. Step 1. Turn on your computer. Step 2. Open Minecraft. Step 3. Log on to Hypixel. Step 4. Select Shoop. Step 5. Join a game. Step 6. Press 3.
with Green Hood, you have the arguably best ultimate in the game, so don't waste it. Maybe your opponent is moving too unpredictably. Wait till you know he's going to have to approach you. Maybe you don't know where he's going to spawn? Don't spawn grab him. Just wait until you have a good opportunity. Don't waste your ult. If you've made it this far, I'd like to thank you for watching, and suggest that you subscribe to see more of my content, because clearly you liked this video. And I'd also like to suggest you check out my Twitch page, where I stream very frequently from 9 to 11 p.m. Check the first link in the description. But until I see you next, thank you for watching, and I will see you later. Bye!